In the old days, technology in the practice room consisted of a wind-up metronome and a cassette recorder. Today, we have a lot more available to us, and I'm gonna tell you about the best apps out there to help you get more out of your practice sessions while having fun in the process. Jay Metcalf here from bettersax.com. The first app everybody's gonna to wanna to have is a good metronome. This might be the most important tool after your instrument. There are hundreds of metronome apps out there. It doesn't really matter which one you get though. My favorite is this one, Tonal Energy. I've been using it for years. I really love it because it's got a ton of features and I can customize it how I like. First thing I do is I change the sound to something more natural like this hi-hat. And I always listen to the metronome using earbuds or headphones. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to hear it over the sound of the saxophone. Alternatively, you could listen to the metronome through your speakers if you prefer. Here's a couple of great ways to challenge yourself rhythmically if you've already been practicing with the metronome a bit. Number one is to set it to click on beats two and four only. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge at first, but with the exception of classical music, pretty much everything we are gonna play on the saxophone is styles of music where the drummer is going to be accenting the weak beats two and four. Simulating this with the metronome on two and four can help us get into the habit of feeling the rhythm in a more relaxed way. Number two is to set the metronome to skip beats randomly a certain percentage One, of two, the time. Three, this four. is going to require you to rely more on your inner time feel rather than just using the metronome as a crutch. The next essential app all saxophonists should have is a good tuner. I use the same app for both the metronome and tuner because Tonal Energy is also a fantastic tuner app. First, I set it up to transpose for whatever instrument I'm playing. Then I set the sensitivity. I personally set it to ultra fine because hey, why not? One thing I like to do with this app is set it to play back to me drones of the notes it hears me playing when I'm practicing my long tones. You do need to be wearing headphones for this function to work though. Now you may be somebody who wants to jump right into the fun stuff. And if that's the case, you're gonna love our next app, which is from the sponsor of today's video, TomPlay. TomPlay is an app that works on all mobile devices and desktop computers and provides accompaniment as well as sheet music arrangements for all instruments. It's kind of crazy what you can do with this thing. Let me show you a few examples. Let's say I want to play Just The Way You Are by Billy Joel. I do a search for the title and as you can see, the results give me a few different options. I'm going to choose the more difficult version for myself, but no, you've almost always got an option for a simpler, less rhythmically complex arrangement. Now I'm going to have a fantastic version of this tune that I can play along with as I read the sheet music scrolling in real time across the screen. I can have the app play back to me the saxophone part, which is super helpful if I need a reference for the rhythms, the pitch, the phrasing, etc. I can also turn off the saxophone playback so just the accompaniment is being heard. Another cool thing we could do with this is turn on the vocal track and just play some fills in the, the same way we would if we were doing this tune with a band that had a singer. I love that this app also includes the chord changes on the sheet music so you can practice your improvisation, if you like, while the app helps you keep your place. For those who are still beginners, you can have the app display a real-time fingering chart as the notes go by. You can even record your own performances right into the app and play them back to hear how well you did. One thing I love about this particular arrangement is that when you get to the solo section, it has a solo written out. It's not the original Phil Woods solo from the recording, but it's an easier solo that gives you something to play in that part of the song. Tom Play has tens of thousands of scores in all different musical genres. There is tons of classical, jazz, and pop music to choose from. You can write your own notes on the scores, print them out, change the tempos, and even loop sections for focused practice. If you're somebody who likes to play tunes using sheet music or have backing track accompaniment when you're playing, you're gonna love this app. Right now, if you click the link in the description, you can get a free 14-day trial of Tom Play, so I encourage everyone to go check it out 
Go learn a new tune today and let me know in the comments how it works out. Another fantastic app, which is really essential for anyone studying jazz, is called iReal Pro. This app provides just the chord progressions and computer-generated accompaniment, which isn't really suitable for performances since it's basically a band of computer instruments. Musicians commonly use this app as a replacement for the big, thick, heavy real books when they need reference for chord changes or want to practice playing over chord progressions. However, unlike the books, this app allows you to change the keys and edit the chord changes as you like. You can also alter the tempos and play back the tunes in a variety of styles. You can also create your own chord progressions. It's got a lot of flexibility. It does not provide the melodies though. Now, if you're somebody who finds practicing with the metronome to be a bit dull, you might want to check out Drum Genius. I've been using this app for years as well. It's basically a large collection of drum loops. You pick a style and a tempo that you want to work with and hit play. I use this app for practicing technical stuff like scales, arpeggios, and patterns. It's a great way to get used to playing with a drummer, sort of, while working on your time feel in a variety of styles. There are tons of loops available, and I love how they give you examples of classic recordings and specific drummers playing the loop. Go ahead and use this app to try practicing in musical styles you may not be all that familiar with for an extra challenge. One of my all-time favorite apps for practicing is called iPractice Pro. This app is all about providing specific practice tools to help musicians get more out of their precious practice time. You can use it to practice over drones along with the metronome. You can use it to practice over individual chord qualities. I love using it to practice over specific chord progressions. For example, I can set it to play this 2-5-1 chord progression, let's say four times, and after it repeats four times, Times, it's going to go to the next key, up half a step in this case. This is a great way to take lines through all the keys or practice your improvisation in all 12 keys. It's packed full of features and it's an app that I strongly recommend to any student of jazz. Another more recent app I've been checking out lately is called Genius Jam Tracks. This app has built on what iReal Pro has done, adding some neat new features. Overall, it does basically the same thing which is provide computer generated accompaniment for practicing tunes. However, it does sound a lot better than the iReal Pro app, but it's still just a band of computers. Other things that set it apart are, first of all, it comes loaded with a huge catalog of standard tunes, and it's got these very cool sliders for changing the harmonic and rhythmic complexity of the playback. So we can vary how rhythmically complex the playback is, and we can do the same with the harmony. This app is definitely worth checking out as it's packed with tons of other useful features, which more advanced musicians are gonna find useful. Transcribing is probably the single best thing you can do to improve your musicianship, and there's a bunch of different apps to help make the process a lot easier. My favorite app for transcription is called AnyTune Pro. It's got this intuitive interface which allows you to loop sections of a recording and change the key and tempo. For example, if I wanna learn how to play part of this Dexter Gordon solo, I will load the audio file into the app and then set a loop to play one phrase at a time. It allows us to set multiple key points in the audio file so we can create all different loops quickly. Once I learn this first phrase using a loop, I'll then move on and loop the next phrase. Once I've done that, I can put them both together and loop a longer section. Now apps can be very helpful in the practice room, but if you want to know how to fix the two biggest problems stopping the vast majority of saxophone players from improving, you're gonna wanna watch this video next.